The Aldrich family moved to Lake Havasu in 1969 to escape the cold weather of Wisconsin. Like most of the pioneers who moved here, Don and Mary saw growth and opportunity and a great place to raise their family. September 24, 1970, in the early morning, Mary Aldridge went into labor. Because she had her babies quickly, there was no time to get to the nearest hospital in Needles or Kingman, and Michael James Aldridge became the first baby born in Lake Havasu. Mike was very close to his family, especially his older sister Tamara and his brother Andy. Ironically, Mike struggled with reading as a child, but it was brother Andy who tutored and encouraged him. In the third grade, Mike decided he wanted to learn to play the drums and built his first set from tin cans. He wanted a real set, but with such a large family and limited resources, things weren't just given on a whim. Mike's dad insisted he haggle with the seller. He bought the drums for $75 under the asking price. Mike went right to work, honing his drumming skills, sometimes at the expense of the family's sleep. He'd often be banging away at 6 o'clock in the morning drumming lucrative, and Mike was playing professionally in bars before he had a driver's license. In high school, local music store owner Lenny Hero extended him credit for his second set after hearing the young man play. Within months, Mike had the drum kit paid off from his earnings. As a teenager, Mike was the lead percussionist in the community orchestra, drummer for Wes Humphrey's jazz combo, and the top chair drummer in the school band. His big band orchestra won both the Arizona and California State Championship, and they performed for Governor Meekham's inauguration ball. Mike kept a busy schedule throughout high school as he played football, basketball, and tennis. As a sophomore, he made the varsity tennis team, where the Fighting Knights won many divisional and regional championships. Senior year, Mike ran for student body president against the shoe-in candidate and won by a landslide. It was then that the political bug had taken him by storm and he started to make the tough decisions that would direct his future. Mike's father, the late Don Aldridge, was a powerful man in state politics, serving as the Speaker of the Arizona House. Mike then decided to apply to New Mexico Military Institute. Upon high school graduation, he received an internship with U.S. Senator John McCain that summer. He excelled at military school and eventually worked his way up to second in command of the regiment. He graduated Pi Theta Kappa and number seven in his class. Upon graduation, Mike moved to Washington, D.C., where he went to work for his mentor, Senator McCain. Mike decided to take a year off before he would pursue a law degree. His parents were concerned, but it was his brother Dan who reinsured everyone that Mike only needed a break. It was at this time that he found himself traveling to Mazatlan, Mexico, as the guest of the Osuna family that he had befriended during military school. The Osuna family's son had been racially and physically hazed, and it was Cadet Major Aldridge who took action on his behalf. The family never forgot Mike's kindness, and he was often a guest at their seaside resort. With guitar and notebook in hand, it was there that he began sailing and writing. After the much-needed break, Mike enrolled at Arizona State University and was determined to get his degree completed. He had one more year to finish his justice degree and he had just enrolled for the semester when the call came in. It was John McCain. He wanted Mike to manage his rural senatorial campaign for the state. McCain didn't need to ask. Mike lost 20% of his tuition money and withdrew for the semester, took the ball and ran. Mike campaigned hard and at the age of 22 debated Evan Meekham and Carolyn Warner at a college campus as a stand-in for McCain. The former governor, who admired Mike's father, found himself in quite a predicament, criticizing McCain and his surrogate. Mike graduated with his justice degree from ASU after McCain's Senate victory and went on to join corporate America, where he found himself managing a massive marketing campaign for the Philip Morris Corporation. He was promoted to regional manager for Arizona, Nevada, and Hawaii, and was instrumental in landing a major contract with 7-Eleven. Despite his success with Senator McCain and corporate America, Mike decided to go back to his hometown and open his own business. It was at that time that he found San Felipe, located on the Baja Peninsula, and built his second home. 
In 2001, Mike married Kristen Leeds, and they had their one and only child, Evan Michael James Aldridge, or Little E, as Mike nicknamed his boy. In 2006, Mike found himself sitting on the beach in the Baja, staring at the ocean and contemplating the future. It was at that moment he decided to commit to writing on a daily basis. At the time, Mike's good friend, Jeff Gilbert, invited him to his home in Rocky Point to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, then better known as Cinco de Drinco. Mike was in the midst of penning an ocean away and decided to incorporate Jeff and his family into the book, along with their mutual friend and pilot, Phil Hatch. Today, Mike owns an independent insurance agency and recently formed his own publishing company, Have a Son Publishing. When asked what motivates him, he says his son, Evan. He's the sweetest kid you'll ever meet, and at the end of the day, everything I do in life is for him, because he is my life. Mike's second novel, The Golden Zone, will be released in 2011. He's currently writing the sequel to An Ocean Away.